Good afternoon. This is Two Local Radio. My name is Ray Ray, and I'm here with Ben to break. I have Joel, who's a singer. I have Perry, who's a rhythm guitarist. And I have Justin, who's the lead. How are y'all doing today? Yeah, real good, man. Real good. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. All right, so uh, so so, what's it like being a you know a local band? You know, from would you say you're from the Tri Cities or from the Knoxville or just like in between? A uh, little in between. We like to hit up. We're from the Tri Cities, man. We're based out here in Moshim or Mosh Mosheim, as the locals pronounce it. Um, yeah, right. Most of our stuff's up in Johnson City and Greenville, man. It's nice. It's a good scene going up here, man. The, the rock community is really picking up. People are coming out. Summer's coming. Everybody's going to have a good time. So, yeah, yeah, it's good. I like it. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, so how did you all meet? It was really kind of uh, kind of crazy. Uh, me and the drummer and the, uh, the original bass player, we kind of uh, – we had a thing going from a previous little project we had done, you know, and we decided that that just really wasn't, it really wasn't tickling us very much, you know. It, did, it didn't didn't turn us on. So we kind of got a different thing going on, and we started uh, looking around, you know, kind of almost handpicking members, looking for the right people for the job. And this is what we come up with, and it's pretty good. I'd yeah. say I'm, I'm real pleased with it. I worked with the guy that knew him, and he tried to get me to join him a year before, and I was like, man, I'm not playing with those crazy guys. And then it was funny because I come to a blind audition and it was the same guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, what I keep on, you know, hearing, you know, on uh, social media and in every time that I mention y'all is, what does Bent to Break mean? And and why that name out of all names? Bent to Break, man. Uh, I mean, we've all been pushed to the point, you know, you, you, get, uh, you get bent get stretched out, you know, you take as much as you can and then you you know, you kinda snap. We're all about uh that, that ride, that emotion, you know, telling telling a story with the music, not just, you know, your classic arrangement, but uh, you know, whatever it takes, whatever progresses. If the song starts off as a as a, a metal song and ends as a blues song or a rap song and that, then that's how it is. But it's it's all about telling that story, man. Uh, all right, so so your band is pretty much uh, story driven then. Yeah, really a uh, Focus on the you know just the melody, the lyrics. It's groovy though. I mean, we mix it up, have a good time. People, I mean, you got some girls up dancing and stuff. So that's always good. I tell anybody, I'll take a flesh pit over a moss pit any day. Maybe it's just me, but it's a lot softer and it smells better. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, that's something that you don't hear every day. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we we like the we like the you know the more powerful the you know the more powerful driven like guitar stuff and everything, but we don't. It's not really like over driven with guitar. It's, it's not what you would call like guitar rock or something like that. It's it's uh no. it's kind of kind of like the power groove thing. You know, you've got you've got elements of you know real good melodies with heavy riffs, and then you've also got you know clean tones that come in here and there and, and sweep around and kind of just you know really it really does tie with your emotions a lot. Yeah, groove metal kind of thing. I like to be yeah. loud, too. I like to scream. I wake up screaming every day, pretty much. And that's Yeah, that's another thing. Joe's vocals, he he does everything, man. I mean, he's he's got real smooth, clean vocals, and then he's got that, you know, just real mean, nasty kind of in-your-face growl thing, and I, I love it. It's awesome. All right, and what would, you, what would you say is the one thing that separates, you know, Bent to Break from every other local band, you know, out in this area? That's a good one. There's some good people around here, man. We got a lot of hardworking bands out here. Um, I guess uh, we, the way we brand ourselves, uh, the kind of music that we approach, the way we approach it, it's you know not your your traditional approach. Uh, you know, I guess we kind of fall in that kind of sub genre, kind of like a. I like to build a the scream like five finger. I want to be able to, you know, to be able to do it all. So we we get shows with a lot of a lot of local bands that have a diverse you know range of music. We don't just book ourselves with metal bands or rock bands or alternative bands. We'll hell we'll play with anybody that can you know come out have a good time, uh, represent you know bring a crowd. Hell we like to party down here, man. That's what we're about. We we don't like to step on tails. So they can separate us. I guess we we like to get everybody involved, man. The whole rock community, you know, have a party. Hell, let's, let's barbecue while we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good to me. So why? Uh... So, 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 what would you say? You know, so far is your favorite favorite song that you've done. 
for me, it's wrath. <laughs> I like Wrath myself, as far as my personal favorite. That's pretty but dialogue, guy. too, on Reverb Nation. <laughs> <laughs> nice that's right, there. That's right. <laughs> uh, and what is it about that song, you know, that that you all love so much? Oh, that's that's more or less like, I don't know if everybody loves it as much as I do, but it's... it's uh, I love it. Of course, I'm the, I'm the guitar player, you know, <laughs> but uh, it, it's just really kind of quick and it's kind of mean and, and it's just you know really, really mm-hmm. quick and driven. It's 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 a good like driving song. It make that right foot get like heavy. Like some acid kind of feel to it, just kind of pushes through. Yeah. And, and, and that's funny. That's funny you mentioned acid bath because I remember I was at a show, uh, you know, one time and acid bath show and they had a six foot. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and everybody was. Yeah. I, I I'll tell you, everybody was two shades in the wind that that night. So I love it. That's really good. Good job. <laughs> I'd say mine's actually uh, one we got coming up. It's a uh, it's a little different, little little journey we're taking, a little different direction with it. But the, the second CD we're working on it now. We just got done uh, playing three tracks down to Sound Lair a couple weeks ago with uh, Maya Luwahani's. I probably butchered that, Mike. If you're listening, I'm sorry, brother. But yeah, he does amazing work. He works for Wide Chapel, um, a lot of bands in the area. Man, he records a lot of the guys up in Knoxville doing a lot of good things. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, we we leave there humble every time, man. And we take some away with us every time, and we come out better for it. But yeah, this uh, this new song we got coming up, uh, Pronic, is a, a little different ride for us, and it's actually going to be a single we're releasing here in about a month. So I might check the page and look out for it because it'll, it'll be coming out here in a little while. Sweet and uh, all right. So so if you could put y'all y'all subs in a blender, just hypothetically speaking, done that before. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, what 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 would you say as far as uh, characteristics the band has? Well, everybody says I'm the asshole, so I don't know. (laughs) Keeps him on his toes. (laughs) <laughs> I like that though, you know. That's just who I am. Hey, that's fine. If they can hang out with me, that's all I need. Joel, he's he's uh he's he's real drive oriented. He helps keep us all straight. He's he's real good. And of course James, you know, the timekeeper. That's the drummer there. He's he's yeah, the timekeeper, man. He's impeccable. He's a human jukebox, man. I don't know how he does it. They go, like, Hey man, you know this song? Oh, I don't know. Oh that oh yeah. Like, what the hell, man? I had to work on something for two weeks, it's like he was born with this information. Yeah, he's a freaking human metronome. But uh, yeah, and then Perry, I mean, he just he adds an element. You know, he he helps thicken it. I mean, it's like it's like you know, it's like putting flour in your beef stew. You know, it really thickens the gravy. It's 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 nice. It it really comes through the way it was meant to gravy. from the start. But now we Vince finally have the ability to do gravy beef stew. That's what. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's groovy gravy, baby. Groovy baby. Well, I want a bowl. Serve me one up, man. Oh yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, what's the what's the best thing a fan, uh, best feedback you've had received from a fan? Oh, I'm gonna give a shout out to our boys, man. Divided we stand. They're doing some amazing stuff, man. And uh, we we played some shows with them, and it, it's a party. I want to do it again, you guys. If you hear this, um, it's always a party, man. And uh, just just them enjoying us and playing with them is is probably from another band in the area that, that, that meant a lot, man. So, yeah. And then tri we got, we got a bunch of good bands too. Y'all check out uh cap gun Alliance, some brothers and arms out there doing some amazing stuff. And, uh, I, I, love the question, my bands. I, I, I think, I, I think, I think you didn't hear, uh, hear the question here. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Uh, you know, I, I was experiencing some power issues before, so it, it, it happens. All right. Uh, as far as the fans, what is the best feedback you've had, you've heard that they like your music or, you know, that it really, uh, you know, touched their life or what, what, what was the greatest thing that you've heard so far? Oh yeah. There's been, uh, there's been, you know, quite a few comments on our pages and stuff about how people like 
you know, they really like how we don't really take a traditional approach to, you know, what we're doing. They like they like the strangeness of it, the the little odd twists about it and stuff. They're, they're, I mean, even for around here, which is mostly like, right. you know, a country, it's like a country community around here, but they really dig what we're doing as well. And it's it's kind of kind of really, it, it really, it's really awesome to me to be able to convert these people over to some real music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ray, do you care if I uh, talk uh, about something we got coming up right quick? Sure, go ahead. It, it, it's your stage. Go ahead. Hell yeah. May 30th. We got a big show, a fan appreciation event, man. We got Holly Davidson, Budweiser, a handful of local shops, man. Smoking Pig Barbecue is going to be doing the event outside. It starts at 6 to 8, man. We're gearing it toward the bikers in. We got an amazing rock band, Not Dead Yet. They're going to be starting it off. Uh, Smoking Pig will be serving it up. Phoenix Designs will be out there doing airbrushing. If you guys want to check them out, be some good stuff. But we're going to have bikini bike washes, a lot of music out there. 8 o'clock, we're bringing it inside. Promise the world's rocking it out. We're going to do a live video shoot that night for one of our songs off the last CD, Scarecrows in the Field. Uh, we're going to get everybody in on that. Sponsors, we have available spots on that if you guys want to get in. And um, it's just a fan appreciation event. We've got about $400 currently, and we've got two more months to go, so we've got some good stuff. Nintendo DSs, tattoos, shirts from Emo Row, uh, CD Swap Shop, the old location where Retro Records is at now. Y'all check them out. they got some good stuff that they give us as well. Hop here on Grills, donate some stuff. We just got... A lot of stuff to give away, and it's just going to be an amazing event for six bucks. You won't find a better time in a 200 mile radius. I guarantee it. All right. All right. Well, why don't you throw that plug in one more time? Where is it located, and what time? It's uh, at the uh, Tennessee Vets Post. Um, it's right off the old 25E Highway, going uh, toward oh, the White Pine in Marstown. Veterans Post number one. Veterans Post number one. And they're doing some good stuff down there. They're really, they're really supporting the rock community here in the area, man. Uh, doing some, doing some good stuff down there, and it's perfect. Multi level. We've got cameras going to be on the top levels, bottom levels, a lot of shots. And uh, just getting everybody in on it. Come out, and dress crazy, have a good time. Sugar skulls. We got some contests going on too, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a party, man. So, so let me get this straight. You've got a bunch of contests. You got a, a bunch, bunch of, of bands, a bunch of sponsors bunch. for six bucks. Yes, sir. Wow. Especially out in this area, wow. I mean, uh, if you want to go to a, you know, a really great event, there you go, on May 30th. Get your ass down there. That, that's what two local radio says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think we might get to have y'all guys uh, down there, too, doing some live streaming, man. That'd be awesome. Well, you know, we, we'd love to. That, that sounds absolutely, you know, fantastic. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. You you know uh, let let's let's go behind the scenes of this event. How did how did this form? Um, well we uh we're real we love doing the visual stuff. Uh, we had a great time shooting that last video we done for Fracture Side. Y'all check it out on our YouTube channel. I got to play with chainsaws and that was for me a lot of fun. Oh, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, we wanted to do another video, but more than that, we wanted to do something you know just to get everybody together and and and, and let the rock community kind of form up you know. As, a clenched fist, not separate fingers, man, and just really, really put on something good for everybody, you know, and show everybody uh, how much we appreciate the support we've had, man. Uh, the Facebook page has blown up, you know, and um, the, the YouTube channel. The, the, the response to the video was amazing, man. Uh, I mean, like, we had 2,300 views in just, like, you know, a matter of months, and it was just like, wow, you know, I just, it just kind of really put me back a little bit. I want to do something to say, hey, I want to get everybody in this video. I want to give you a chance to get in on one of our videos. If you want to come down and dress like a crazy ninja monster robot with a, you know, a fake puppet cake that looks like a, dem a demon or something, do it, you know? Come out, have a good time, get on video. <laughs> uh, th that I don't is... have one of those, but if anybody does have one of those, I would like a link to purchase it. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. That is absolutely amazing. The fact that you all want to build unity you, you know, it, uh, to the local, you, you know, base more than it's ever been. And the fact that you, you know, you're doing this for the fans, you know, to oh, give yeah. back. There's a lot of bands out there that are all about themselves. Yeah, and then, you know, if you if you want to wander alone in the desert, then that's where you'll be. But, you know, we're trying to stick together here, man. Uh, Tri-Cities Local Music, they've, they've really, really helped us all kind of join together here in the Greenville, uh, Johnson City area, man. And, and you know what? Uh, there's been more rock shows put on here in the last 11 months, and I'd say there was in the tears before that. 
it's been, I mean, we played quite a bit more, and we've enjoyed it. Everybody come out, the response we've got, man, just some good people. You know, I like to have a good time. You know, no harsh vibes, drink some beers, have some good food, man. I love it. I love it. I ain't going to lie. Now, now, is this going to be, uh, you know, a family event, or is this just 18 and older, or is this 21 just because it's drinking, or uh, what, yeah, what's going it'll on? Be 21 up, um, 21 and up on the inside. Um, from 6 to 8, we have some outside events going on uh, with the, the airbrushing and the barbecue and the live band, but we are still waiting to find out exactly what that's going to be. If you guys want to jump over to the Facebook page and, uh, and follow us on there, you can you can see the events, and we'll have some updated information here. Uh, April 30th is when we're going to have the final details on these things, and they'll go to print if anybody's looking to get in on the advertising or on the stage banners. And We've got a street team going 100 miles, passing out flyers and, and a poster and nice 12 by our 17 by 24 glossy ones. We ain't printing them off the computer, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, uh, you know, other than this huge event that you have going on uh, May 30th, what else, what else you got going on? Um, well, we're still working on writing. We're in a writing phase right now. We're uh, trying to get some new material up. And Justin and Perry, uh, our new our real guitar player, set us up, Perry. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they've been, they've been making some killer riffs, man. We've been laying it down. We just have been having a blast. Uh, what you right got your show up between getting getting there, though? The yeah, the 25th will be down at the uh, 11 E Bar. Uh, they're a good place, man. They're real, they're real bike friendly. They like to have a good time, man. Uh, you know, a lot of good local ladies come out and have a good time too, and it's just a good scene to get out, groove it out. Yeah, that's, that's next week yeah. again. And yep, with the presence in Cap Gun Alliance, the triple team rock down man, three of the areas uh hard hitting rock band, so yeah. Oh all right, so it seems like you know, it's always a party no matter where y'all go. Uh what what brings it what brings about this positive, you know, party scene vibe? Is it just uh, you know, just come with such second nature or is, is it just like um, Kind of like a backyard barbecue. You want everybody there. You want everybody to have a good time. You want, you know, you want people to, you want people to enjoy it, and you want people to bring more people next time. It was a party question. It wasn't a food question. Party. <laughs> <laughs> he, his blood sugar's low. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, who don't like to party? You know. I mean, uh, we go out and hang out in the corner and compare shirts, or we can. <laughs> We can get out here and party. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, I, I know it seems like it comes second nature to you, but believe it or not, oh, there's yeah. a lot of uh, rock metal bands out there that are just take things so seriously, they just can't have a good time. Oh, we take the promotion seriously. We take the riding seriously, man. But when it comes time to it and it comes down to the fruition of all these efforts, I mean, we're ready for that. So that's when we get to have a good time, man. That's, and we do. <laughs> yeah, people show up to have fun. Exactly. All right. So let's, uh, you know, let's fast forward five years. If you what, if you could define success in five years, what would it be to bank the break? I will be married to Molly Cyrus. Um, <laughs> be going to yard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I mean, so, uh, no, um, we, we would like to play a big event, man. I'd love to get on some of the stuff they got going in the Carolinas. I just I just love to to be a part of that, man. Just be on the big stage, just look out and and hear, hear have everybody just hear hear the words, man, feel the music. Oh yeah, and money. Uh, somebody said something about yeah. money, but I'd like, like to be able to call it a full time yeah. job instead of part time fun. Yeah, that that's that's the thing uh you know with nowadays uh, a lot of musicians uh, and a lot of bands that I'm running into, unfortunately, ha- ha- you know, have to make the music along with the full time job, and I I think that's absolute uh, BS. And I also think, uh, you know, when uh, I don't know how it is out in that area, but I know out in uh, you know Knoxville, a lot of the cover bands are making a lot of money, and the local bands ain't making nothing. And I I just don't think that's fair. Yeah, we all work, man, forty, sixty hour weeks. So. You know, this this is our this is our safe haven. You know, music is is that release. So, you know, props to anybody who's getting out there and doing it. And, and people want to hear stuff. They want to sing, have a good time. And we do some covers too, man. I mean, it's a 
if you can play some of that stuff, more power to you. Some of it takes a lot of skill. It's just, you know, we like to get our original stuff out. You know, that story I was talking about, you know, just being heard and getting that out, man. Yeah, we want people singing our music. Yeah. We want people to cover our song. Try to get the feeling out there. And, and I believe if a lot more bands, you know, had the same vision or, you know, the same drive and motivation, things could change. I believe that, you, you know, the local bands would be the ones, you know, making the money. And then the cover bands be like, yeah, well, yeah, but we'd rather hear the local bands. <laughs> They're more talented. Yeah. So. <laughs> that, that, I always appreciate good original material, man. I ain't gonna lie. And, and around here, there's there's some amazing artists doing a lot of uh, good original stuff, man. I'm just fortunate to be a part of it. So, uh, you know, if you said you'd like to be on a major, you know, uh, stage, if you could be on a major tour, which one would you want to be, and why? Uh, Rock on the Range, hands down. And why is that? Out of all the tours out there, it's just huge. Just the level of talent and the reach, and just just just, just everything about it, man. Just that, and they got a lot of similar uh, style artists with us. Um, they also they try to help you know new and up and coming people. They try to help get them out there as well, you know, which a lot of them do. But that's just you know around here, that's one of the more popular events going around. Oh, I tell I'm going to be amazing too, man. That's coming up May second. I know oh, yeah. everybody's going to that. All right, it, it, let, let's let's jump in your CD player real quick. Uh, what what's one uh what's one thing that would be in your CD player or, or you know your MP3 player that people wouldn't necessarily know that you listen to but you love? Uh, Journey, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was that was James O'Reilly. Jim Croce. <laughs> See you later on. He just got inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame about then. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of expected there. Joel likes a lot of Cindy Lauper and Madonna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, don't you tell. Yeah, Belinda don't Carlisle. <laughs> uh, Hanson. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like we, uh, some m you know, some Cypress Hill. Uh, yeah. I don't own any Nickelback, no. I have no we have a pretty broad spectrum. We listen to a little bit of everything, honestly. You, you all kind of remind me Hello. of, uh, you know, Nickelback in a way. I mean, just as far as, uh, you know, performance ways and, uh, you know, giving back to the fans. I actually went to one of their shows, and they were actually giving out free free beers in the front row. It was crazy. i never that's seen amazing. that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've got, they got down there. That's one of them. No. Yeah. So, 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 what are you most proud of as a band so far? What have you accomplished, and you know, made you feel the you know, the best so far? Scarecrows in the field. Definitely, <laughs> man. Just having that that physical copy of that in our hand, man. Be able to somebody shows like, oh, we want your material, and actually have something to give them is is really great. One of the things I really like about the band is, is we're all seasoned in what we do, and we don't really have much of any conflict with things. I mean, like, you know, writing-wise or personal-wise or anything, we really don't have much conflict with ourselves, our unit. It's it's very nice to work with people who aren't uh, who are, who are very open to suggestion, I guess. And, and that's the one thing I, I've noticed, uh, you know, from bands that stick around to bands that don't is the fact that when the band has chemistry, it's willing to go farther, and it's willing to get where it needs to be. And when it doesn't, it's well... It's hard not to have a fun with this crazy bastard, man. <laughs> <laughs> so so what would your, uh, you know, uh, what would your typical weekend be for uh, Bent to Break? If you weren't, uh, if you weren't on stage, what, what would you all be doing? Uh-huh. If we weren't playing, exactly. Well, we it, it, we're always on Saturdays. We're at the warehouse, man, grinding out new stuff till you know midday, and then we uh, nourishment. Go on about, <laughs> yeah, going about our weekend. Our drummer, he's a big fisherman. You catch him on the lake or a river about any time if he ain't busy. <laughs> I like games. I like to game it up. Spooky one on Xbox. If you guys want to hit me up? I need a crew, Destiny. 
<laughs> I'm usually sitting around practicing, and if I'm practicing by myself, I am, and if not, usually Perry's over there with me, and we'll sit down and practice for, you know, hours on end, just writing new stuff, and we do that a lot. I think Chris, our bass player, I think he crochets on the weekends sometimes. <laughs> yeah. He, like, he likes to take it easy. basket weaving. Oh, sorry. Poke his feet, you know. Curl his hair. All right, all right. You, you know, I'm I'm not gonna waste uh, waste too much of y'all's time and whatnot. Uh, so so where can people uh, listen to your music and uh, how do they get to know who who Bent the Break is? We got the our homepage, man. www dot. This is hard to remember. Bent to Break dot com. <laughs> it's got links. <laughs> it's got links to all our social media sites. So we got a YouTube channel, uh, Reverb channel. CD Baby, you know, iTunes, Amazon, all your popular music distribution avenues. You can find us on there. Reverb Nation. We've actually got two songs for free download off the last CD, so you guys jump over to Reverb Nation, check us out, Bent to Break, Rise, and Justin's Favorite Wrath is on there for free. So, I mean, you can't really get much cheaper than that unless I actually pay you to take it, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do have to ask this question, though. Um... Do you feel that it is important for any band to have an actual website rather than just social media? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Yes, definitely. I mean, social media is dropping off. Facebook's stupid algorithm thing. I mean, the post is like 20% reach of what they was last year just because they're trying to squeeze money out of people. YouTube's a popular avenue, man, because people, they're real visually based. They want to see something. That's kind of like tied back into the May 30th event. That's why we want to get that video done really bring that visual aspect to the table it's got a couple shoots coming up for videos actually this year if you know anybody that has a, a couple hundred samurai warriors i could borrow it'd be great <laughs> a couple hundred huh <laughs> that's all you know not much uh, yeah not much at all all right all right uh is it raw uh, you know what you know what this is what i'm, I'm gonna ask i haven't asked this in a while so i'm gonna ask this right now what advice would you give for a new, you know, somebody that wants to, you know, get in a band, knowing how hard uh, things are, what uh, what positive advice would you give to them to, you know, keep their head up? Don't get discouraged. Don't give up and, and, and focus on your art and everything else. You know, if you put yourself out there and you believe what you're doing, you know, it'll fall into place. Just don't give up and put yourself around people that are going to put you in a good place, you know, don't accept somebody just because they can do something and, you know, somebody's got a problem, you know, with, with drugs or anything like that. You, you just don't, don't, don't put yourself in that scenario thinking you've got to be in a band with somebody like that just because there's nobody to play with. Because there's a, a deep pool of season people around here. Good musicians, a lot of good forums you can get on, find people. Just, just stick to your art and, you know, focus on that and, and everything else fall in place. Keep it fun for yourself. Yeah, make it fun. Uh, don't accept negative energy. I mean, you know, most times somebody's hating on you, it's just because they're jealous. That that is true. They wish they, could, they wish they could be in your shoes for some reason, and they just want to bring you down to that level to where you feel like you're right. Keep your head up and just keep going. All right, or in contrast, practice hard and down your legs pumping. I never understood that because they mean the same thing, but they're two different postures. Uh, all right, can you repeat that second one once again? You cut out a little bit. Uh, um, they tell you to keep your head up and, and stand tall and then they also tell you to keep your head down and legs pumping but you can't do both at the same time but they both mean the same thing ah, yeah, make okay. sure you find people that have the same goal as you where you're wanting yeah. to go make sure everybody yeah. has the same idea tied in my analogy that's what I need too many Aesop's fables all right. Uh, is is there any uh, you know, any uh, people you want to thank, or you know, anything you want to say before we let you go and enjoy your weekend? Yeah, I thank Perry Hensley, man. Tri City Local Music. Uh, any bands looking to, to book some shows, he's a good one to talk to. Uh, we're always willing to to get together and jam with guys. We got a good show coming up this next coming week, April twenty fifth at the Eleven East Sports Bar. So come out and check us there, and uh, we'll have a good time. 
All right. Well, thank you, Joel. Thank you, Perry. Thank you, Justin. And thank you, Bet the Break. Y'all rock in my book, and I definitely will have you back. And I definitely uh, will probably be out there May 30th. I, I wouldn't see why not. Okay. Hey, yeah, well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you getting us on. Right. Right. Not a problem. I, I wish I could have, uh, you know, uh, gave you some more notice. But next time, I'll make sure I get plenty, uh, plenty in there, so w- we get more uh, opinions and more crazy questions for you all. Because I think you can handle this it. This guy works better on the fly, anyway. Justin Ryder, right. Jason, as I call him, that's his stage name. <laughs> the improviser. All right. Well, well, you all have a wonderful, you know, weekend. Take care. All right, brother. Rock on. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks, man.